And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with the Game Boy Geek. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today, we're going to be playing with magnets. And we're going to be playing with our heart. Today we're talking about Hearts of Attraction, the game you can't resist from r, r Games. For two to five players, plays in a quick 10 minutes. This is one of those quick icebreaker games. Let me show you how it's played. I'll see you on the other side. Here with Heart Attraction, it's a cool little box when you open this up, it's got a nice heart and it has all the magnets all here, right here. They also have in the box, uh, if you wanted to not keep this big box, you could actually just put all the magnets in this nice Heart of Attraction bag and it will take up less space than the box. It's up to you. Now these are hearts and they're magnets. And it's really interesting because like I have this magnet here and some one side's gonna repel. As you can see this going away, going away, going away and repelling. And if I just flip this over, boom, it's gonna attract. This one repels, but if this one was on the other side, boom, it goes like that. And so what you're gonna do is you, to set up the game, we're gonna, we're gonna randomly place all these hearts all over the table. Okay, so we have the magnet set up. Everyone's gonna just randomly take one magnet off the table. That's gonna be their one to start. Now, when it's your turn, you get to, you get to basically projectile your magnet out to try to create clusters. Those ones are already still clustered. And you can do it one of three ways. You can decide to take this from behind the table and toss it like that. Or you could take it right on the end table and flick, flick it with your finger, or you could take it like this and just shoot it like that. Now, when you do that, you're gonna see some cool reactions. Okay, there's one. So I would keep these three in my hand for next time. And when it's my turn next time, I would use one of these hearts to throw it again at the other ones. Everyone else would get one turn now. And then when it came back to me, ooh, look at that, it just, repelled everything. When it comes back to me, my turn. Ooh, look at that, a, a cluster of three. Sometimes you might make more than one cluster, and in that case, you get to pick which cluster you want. That one did nothing. Let's throw that one over there. Ooh, look at that one. And, ooh. And sometimes you'll see them, they'll just wiggle for quite a bit. I like that. Now, if a heart comes off the table, if one comes off the table and I just catch it, or if it falls on the floor, I catch it with my hand alone, it goes back on the table. But if it comes off, and I use one of the hearts in my hand to catch it like that, I get to actually keep it. So you're gonna be looking and watching what other people are throwing. So let's see if we can get some more interesting uh, arcs here. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that one was that. That one's nice. And you can hear a little, the sound is actually kind of cool too that they make like that. Ooh, that was a good one. I'm actually doing pretty good because most of the time I end up repelling a lot of them. Ooh, those two on the end repelled. Did you see that? And then we have something like this. Ooh. Nice clusters. And essentially you continue to do this. Each person gets one throw at a time and you're trying to get these all up. And then once the last one of these is up, basically everyone is gonna count up how many of these they have. So each person will hold it up. Maybe this person had that many, this person had that many, that person had, ooh, that person had that many. And the one who has the most is the winner. All right, well there's Hearts of Attraction. Uh, wow. I, you know, this is a very unique game and it's going to stay in my collection just because of how unique it is. Um, I am an engineer, so I like science. I like magnetic poles. I think it's cool. Um, and it's fun. You know, it's, it's a very light family style party type game. Good for first game of the night. Good for icebreakers. Uh, hey, let's play Hearts of Trash. You throw the hearts up there. You throw them in there. You see them do these crazy... It's funny how these things just do like the craziest things, especially on a smooth table. Now, where you'll see things spinning, 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 and then they stop. Or one will start to come real close, and you think it's going to, and then boom, it goes. It's just like, there's some really cool things that happen, and it's just interesting to watch this. And then there's the little noises they make when they cluster up, like, you know, it's like, I don't know. It's just kind of like interesting to watch, fun to play. Uh, I'm not going to pull it out every day. I'm not going to pull it out a lot with my heavy gaming group. Uh, but for a light group or the first or last game of the night, you're brainless kind of, just let's just throw some stuff out there and see what happens. And it's just kind of fun. So it is unique and that's why I'm keeping it. Uh, and it's a quick 10 minute game. And so this might be one you're interested in, Hearts of Attraction.
Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. <laughs>